My name's Howard Saunders. I'm, uh, I call myself a retail futurist uh, because all I seem to be doing is traveling around the world and talking to people about where retail's going, where it's heading and how we can adapt to navigate those choppy waters that lie ahead. So, you know, in one word for a, for a sound bite, I would say, stop thinking about selling products. Think about community. Think about building a loyal customer base. Be nice to us when we get to store. Don't think of your store. I say stores are dead. Stores store things. We need places to go that engage us and educate us and places where we can hang out with family and friends. We want hospitality. We want to be greeted. We want to feel good. We want to feel that we're at the center of the universe. And it doesn't matter whether you're a mega uh, conglomerate, a big shopping center, whatever you are, or a little brand and a little corner store, you can connect with people and it's all about connections and I believe that's what the digital age has taught us what we really want from the real world we want to connect so think community think community I could say it six times so I think there's a lot of hype talked about the future future's always I call my talk future is scary because we've always worried about what the future brings and at the moment we're being told about driverless cars and facial recognition software um, and data, big data that knows everything about us and all the rest of it. Now, what that, those are are tools. They are tools for big companies who can't greet you at the door because they're too big. So if you're a little store, you can still connect with people, just like I've said, it's a fundamental thing. If you're a big company with a chain of stores, then maybe you have to use technology to help connect, and that's what social media does. So these are just tools. We shouldn't get overexcited about them. They're just tools to connect that we could do as humans, as a, the most important connection we can have is a human one. So it's really that simple. And all of these technological things that are thrown at us, thrown at us are really just to sort of scare us and panic us a little bit. And lots of retailers are sort of adopting technology as if it's going to save them. It's not. And I would say, go back to basics, understand who you are and how you can really connect with your customers so that they love you a little bit. Maybe you have to run events. Maybe you have to do things in the evening. Maybe you have to team up with other retailers and pull together things. You can't just have a store anymore, storing stuff. It's not interesting enough.